Hi everyone, welcome to channel ko. Ang pala si Janus ng Pinoy Tech Dad. At today, pag-usapan natin sa wakas itong Lenovo Legion Y70 na napakaraming nag-request sa akin na tingnan ko daw at subukan at i-review dahil gustong gusto nila daw na mabilis sana dahil napakaganda ng specs and napakamura niya for a Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. So, actually, yes, totoo yan. This is the cheapest Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 na mabibili niyo sa market. And kung gusto nyo tingnan yung actual price, nandyan po sa link sa description box. Pero bago kayo mag-check out, of course, alamin nyo muna yung mga sasabihin ko tungkol sa phone na to for my initial impressions and quick unboxing. And speaking of, tara, unbox natin. Alright, so ito po yung box ng Legion Y17 na so unang tingin, akala ko walang kasamang charger dahil napakalipis lang niya. Pero nakita niyo naman, kasama naman po yung 68 watts na charger. Na bago natin ituloy yung video, tingnan muna natin yung mga ports nito. So sa bottom part, nandyan yung dual SIM card slot, a microphone, a USB-C charging port, down firing speaker, and then sa kanan naman, nandyan yung power button and on top of it is a fingerprint scanner which is Kind of weird kasi OLED naman yung display so pwede sanang in-display or under-display yung fingerprint scanner. So meron din tayong volume controls dito. And then sa top side, may noise cancelling microphone. And then on the left side, merong another microphone. Maybe when you're gaming or maybe you're game streaming siguro. And then meron ding maliit na Lenovo Legion branding on the left side as well. And then all around the body, dahil metal po yung frame nito, makikita nyo na meron tayong mga antenna bands. So that's how you can tell quickly na metal yung frame pag nakita nyo may mga antenna bands yung phone nyo. Natingnan naman natin na mabilisan yung back panel. So soul white po yung kinuha ko na colorway. Pero meron din pong available na black and then red na colorways. Pero yung red, I think sa higher variant lang po siya available. Wala po sa 8128. So yung finish ng back panel niya is matte finish. Hindi po talaga siya glossy. And honestly speaking guys, when I first held this phone, talagang napahanga ako kasi napaka-premium ng feel niya. And again, I got this for only 24,200 pesos. Napaka-mura pero yung value na makukuha mo, intense. Now, tingnan naman natin yung camera module nito. So meron tong triple camera setup highlighted by the 50 megapixel na main sensor, a 13 megapixel ultra wide, and a 2 megapixel na depth sensor. Now, yung ultra wide niya, it also serves as a macro lens, which is good. Now, guys, sinubukan kong hanapin yung exact sensor na ginamit nila for the cameras, but wala akong makitang information online. Pero later on in the video, makikita nyo naman yung mga actual sample shots ko. Kung hindi nyo pa nakita sa Facebook, I would highly recommend you check those out on my Facebook page. Now, sa front panel naman, meron tayong 6.67 inches na OLED display and a 16 megapixel punch hole selfie camera. Hindi binanggit ko anong klaseng protection ang ginamit nila for the front panel, but luckily, meron na kasamang pre-installed na screen protector. So, at least, ba? But moving on, eto na guys, sasabihin ko na yung experience ko with the Lenovo Legion Y70 so far after using it for two days. Now, let's talk performance first. So, kung ang hanap mo sa isang phone ay yung super lakas talaga, future-proof in terms of performance, wala ka lang hahanapin pa dahil at 25,000 or 24,000 pesos, ito na ang pinakamabilis na phone na makukuha mo. Now, I'm pretty sure marami pa rin sa inyo ang hindi aware sa fact na to. Ang Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 is way better than the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. It's because of the thermals and better fabrication and better manufacturing. Dahil yung Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, yung Snapdragon 888, gawa lahat yan ng Samsung. And this one, the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 is gawa ng TSMC which has a better manufacturing method or process. Kaya mas maganda yung thermals compared sa mga Samsung counterparts na Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. Kung naka-experience kayo ng overheating, 
with the Snapdragon 888 and the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1, ibahin nyo tong 8 Plus Gen 1. Halos wala po kayong may experience na ganun. So far, lahat po ng throttling test na ginawa ko kasama na dito sa Lenovo Legion Y70, pasadong-pasado sa CPU throttling test. So green po lahat yung performance niya sa 15-minute test na ginawa ko. Although, syempre, iinit talaga yung phone kasi fino-force niya to use the maximum capability ng chipset ng processor. So, umabot tayo ng about 45 degrees Celsius. And here's a quick note lang din guys, itong video na to, we won't be talking about the gaming performance yet dahil wala pa po talaga kong oras para maglaro ng games sa dami kong hinahabol ng mga videos. But you can definitely rely on the test that I did na CPU throttling test na dun pa lang alam nyo na yung kakayahan ng chipset na to. And for sure, maganda yung performance ito for games. But abangan nyo rin po yung follow-up video natin kung saan gagawin talaga natin yung gaming test and yung overall full review nitong Lenovo Legion Y70. Siyempre, ang Tutu Benchmark Points, automatic, Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, easy 1 million ang Tutu Benchmark Points. So you already know how this performs in a nutshell. So... Yeah, talagang beast yung performance sa to. Which also means, automatic na yan. Hindi na kailangan i-memorize na kung for daily use lang, for calls and texts and social media apps, eh wala kayong problemang ma-encounter except for one thing. Okay? So ito na, makinig kayo. Dahil ito yung pinaka-issue so far ng Lenovo Legion Y70. So dahil gusto ko alam nyo lahat about sa isang phone, sasabihin ko po ito sa inyo. Ang Lenovo Legion Y70 ay my problem when it comes to audio calls and video calls using the Facebook Messenger. So if you're gonna use that, may experience mo na magre-reboot yung phone mo. First off, magko-connect yung tawag. Whether it's an audio call or a video call, yes, magkakausap kayo for a few seconds. But then magbi-blink yung screen mo and then magre-reboot na siya after a short while. Pero wag muna kayong mag-alala guys. Dahil meron pong alternative or maybe a workaround para magamit nyo pa rin yung Facebook Messenger. And that's the Facebook Messenger Lite version. So pag ginamit nyo yung Lite version, pwede, pwede na po kuya mag-call, whether video call or audio call, wala pong problema. Alright, so lilinawin ko lang. The problem is limited. Ha? Limited lang po sa calls using the Facebook Messenger. Pero yung messaging capability mismo on the Facebook Messenger, it works well. Wala pong problema. Pwede ka rin mag-send ng audio and video mismo through the Messenger app. So, calls lang po ang meron tayong problema on the Messenger app. And I am 100% sure, guys, na this is something that can easily be fixed through a software update. So, Kung kailangan nyo talaga na yung main messenger app ang gamitin nyo, then you have to wait for an update. Para naman sa other video calling apps, gumagana po na maayos yung Lenovo Legion Y70. So wala po kayong ma-encounter na problems whether you're using Viber, WeChat, WhatsApp, or other calling apps pa. Whether it's Microsoft Teams or even Zoom calls. So gagana po yan. Now aside from that, meron pang mga nag-message sa akin na Meron ng problems in terms of notifications ang Lenovo Legion Y70 dahil hindi daw nila nare-receive ng real-time yung mga notifications whether from Viber, Facebook Messenger, or even calls sometimes. Now, I found a quick solution or a way dahil na-experience ko rin po yun at first. So, pag naka-off yung display ng Lenovo Legion Y70, you are gonna have a problem getting notifications in real-time dahil somehow, naka-automatic na snooze mode yung notifications itong phone na to. So, what you'll have to do to solve this problem is just to simply turn off the snooze notification function. So, after I turn that off, nakaka-receive na ako ng messages in real time, whether it's Viber, Facebook Messenger, or real calls. And speaking of calls, maganda yung call quality nito dahil full bar ang nakukuha ko dito sa area ko with 5G. Now, yung 5G data ko naman, it's the same with the performance of other phones sa my 5G. So, kung isa rin sa inaalala nyo sa pagkuha ng phone ng Lenovo Legion Y70 dahil nga it's coming from China and wala pa talaga siyang global version, well, I'm telling you guys, the signals work here in the Philippines whether it's 5G or LTE. Now, siguro, isa pa sa magiging concerns nyo dahil nga China ROM to, wala pa pong global version is paano na lang po yung Google Play and then paano po yung Widevine level certification ito. Well, let me start first na itong phone na nakuha ko, sealed po siya 
but I guess niri seal lang nila dahil out of the box wala na akong setup na ginawa automatic po pag on ko ready to use and then naka-install na yung Google Play and then English na rin po yung keyboard niya pero kung gusto niyo kayo mismo ang mag-setup Pwede nyo pong i-message yung store mismo tulad ng ginawa ko with the Motorola X30 Pro kung saan ako mismo ang nag-setup noon and madali lang naman pong gawin. And para naman sa inyo na concern sa Widevine level certification dahil gusto nyo manood ng full HD na Netflix, well, I'm happy to say na may enjoy nyo yan dito sa OLED display dahil naka full HD and Widevine level 1 certification na po itong Lenovo Legion Y70. Although, I have to point out guys na dito sa box ng Lenovo Legion Y70, naka-indicate na meron tong Dolby Vision na certifications. But upon checking it dito sa Netflix app, hindi available yung HDR. Kahit na HDR 10 plus man lang, hindi po available. But anyway, just wanted to be transparent sa inyo guys para alam nyo and hindi kayo magulat na wala pa palang Dolby Vision if ever man bilhin nyo to and wala pang update about that. But let's go back sa display guys. So meron tong 6.67 inch na OLED display and grabe 144 hertz refresh rate when you're gaming. So depende ko ano yung ginagawa niyo sa phone, nag adjust po accordingly yung refresh rate nito. Next up, pag-usapan naman natin yung software. So meron tong ZUI 14 on top of Android 12 and siguro ang magiging main concern niyo for the Lenovo Legion Y70 software wise is how many updates do we get? From what I've seen online, meron po tayong up to 3 years of OS updates and 4 years of security updates na supposedly regular updates po yung security patches and yung mga updates. But so far, wala pa tayong update dito sa ZUI 14 na nakuha ko. But overall, very smooth yung user experience ko with the ZUI. And mukhang hindi naman siya mabigat patakbuhin. And then yung mga apps na pre-installed, hindi rin ganun karami. Actually, yung mga Google apps hindi pa pre-installed. So you will have to download them one by one. And then yung mga Chinese apps, wala po akong gaanong napansin na merong Chinese apps dito. I think they cleaned it out para magmukhang global version. So... Yeah, I actually like it para iwas hassle na sa pagtanggal ng mga Chinese apps. And then I also like the overall look nitong UI nila. It's not too crazy. It's just very simple and elegant and very smooth looking. So wala po akong problema sa UI nila so far. And then meron din pala tong always on display guys. So makikita mo palagi yung mga notifications mo and then yung time as well as yung date. You don't have to turn on your phone. Next up naman, pag-usapan na natin yung camera sa wakas. So meron tong 15 megapixel na main shooter and then 13 megapixel ultra wide na ipapakita ko sa inyo yung mga samples. And so far, I've been super impressed with the samples that I got. Considering guys, na hindi to naka Sony IMX766 which is supposedly dapat yan ang ginagamit sa mga phones these days but ito hindi talaga nila sinabi ko ano yung sensor nila so that's why I'm pretty sure this is not the Sony IMX766 this could possibly be an Omnivision pero grabe as a gaming phone makikita nyo talaga na napakaganda ng mga samples and hindi lang po yung sa photo side dahil pati yung video eh, very decent yung quality 4K 60 frames per second like I'm telling you guys Sa presyong 24,000 pesos, meron na kayong flagship level na phone. And then close to flagship camera performance. Guys, 4K 60 frames per second na sa ibang phone makukuha nyo at a very expensive price. This one, relatively very affordable. Pero ano sa tingin nyo so far guys, for a gaming phone, di ba? Not bad. Panghuli naman guys, pag-usapan natin sa wakas yung battery. Dahil meron tong isa sa mga features na gusto ko talaga in a gaming phone. And that is the bypass charging. But first off, pag-usapan muna natin, meron tayong 5,100 mAh of battery capacity. That's a solid amount of battery for a gaming phone. And then meron din tayong 68 watts of fast charging. That's pretty fast as well for a gaming phone. Pero bukod pa doon, meron tayong bypass charging na you don't have to worry about damaging your battery kung nag-charge ka habang naglalaro. What that means is diretso sa phone mismo yung power na kinukuha niya from your outlet and hindi na dadaan sa battery mo. So technically, hindi tayo nag-charge habang naka-plug-in ka sa outlet. 
So, wala pong problema sa heating sa battery dahil nga dinadaanan niya lang yung battery and hindi po talaga siya nag accumulate ng power sa battery while you're plugged in and playing your game. So, only games want to sawa. But of course guys, susubukan pa natin yan para may pakita ko mismo sa inyo how it really works. But for now, hanggang dito lang po muna yung mga maibabahagi ko sa inyo tungkol sa phone na to. For me, sa initial impressions ko, this is a solid phone. Especially because you get flagship level of specs at a very affordable price. Again, take note, meron po tayong issue na about dun sa Facebook Messenger. You can't make calls using your main Facebook Messenger. But the alternative is to use the Facebook Messenger Lite version. And that's it. I think that's the only problem that I see with this phone. And maybe, maybe with the software updates dahil I heard hindi po ganun kadalas mag-update si Lenovo. So hopefully magkaroon tayo ng mga updates and I'll be telling you all about that sa full review natin. Kung tinitingnan nyo to for the 11.11 sale, I heard na bababa pa yung presyo nito. So better check that out and add this to your cart dahil kahit na merong problem with the Facebook Messenger app, guys, I can still recommend this phone to you. Napaka-solid po ng phone na to. I promise you guys, one of the best value phones out there right now. Now, kung ang pinagpipilian mo naman ay itong Legion Y70 versus the OnePlus Ace, well, I would go for the OnePlus Ace. Mas smooth talaga yung user experience doon dahil naka OnePlus ka na OS, naka Oxygen OS. And then, so far, yung camera niya, very solid sa photos. Pero kung gusto mo is unlimited gaming na hindi ka nag-aalala na malulobat ka, nakasaksak ka lang the whole time, this is one of the better options that I can recommend sa inyo. Now, kung ang pinagpipilian nyo is the Poco F4 GT and the Lenovo Legion Y70, this is the easiest choice. Pick the Lenovo Legion Y70. Dahil meron tong Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1, that's better performance, better thermals, and meron tong bypass charging na magagamit yung talaga ng sagaran sa gaming. Now, mamimiss nyo lang siguro yung triggers on the Poco F4 GT, but you'll get a more consistent gaming experience. Wala pong throttling na mangyayari. And i-emphasize ko lang talaga yung importance ng bypass charging. It will help save your battery kung palagi kang nag-charge while gaming. So that's a very huge advantage for the Lenovo Legion Y70 na I hope all manufacturers ng gaming phones or kahit na hindi gaming phones would have that option sa mga phones nila. Dahil it's a very useful feature para ma-preserve natin yung batteries ng mga phones natin. So hopefully nakatulong tong video ko lalo na sa mga nagde-decide talaga kung bibilhin ba nila to for the 11.11 sale. I hope naka-add to cart na yun. Pero kung hindi pa, i-add to cart nyo na. Lahat po ng links nandiyan sa description box. And kung gusto mong pang manood ng mga videos ko, meron po akong mga ililink dyan. I'm sure magugustuhan nyo lahat yan. So hanggang sa susunod, ako nga pala ulit si Janus ng Pinotech Dad. Kita-kita ulit tayo.